Together, we have gone a long way to find better and smarter and cheaper ways to provide access to quality care for people in the state. And we've made enormous progress. What we've done over the past three years in Oregon is essentially to create a new business model uh, for our health care system. $200 million we saved in this biennium, that'll grow to $400 million in the next biennium and $600 million in the 2019-21 biennium. ED utilization is down 8%. Uh, primary care visits are up 18%. Uh, Patient-centered primary care uh, home enrollment is up 36%. They've reduced readmission rates for COPD 28% and CHF by 29%. If you look back at what we've accomplished really since 2011, it's pretty remarkable. Well, as you know, we're trying to shift the paradigm from after-the-fact acute care to prevention and wellness and community-based management of chronic conditions. And in many cases, nurses are highly qualified to do all of those things. And, you know, with a shortage of primary care physicians, I think doctors need to do thing, those things that only they can do. They need to practice at the top of their license. And there's a whole host of things that nurses can do as well, if not better. So I think they're going to become a much more central part of the healthcare care uh, delivery team as we transform our system. Governor Kitzhopper has been a longtime advocate for nurses in our efforts to improve health care. He understands the role that nurses play on the front lines of America's health care system. As a nurse and a new nurse practitioner, I appreciate his longtime efforts to support nurse practitioners in the state of Oregon. And as an ONA member, I fully support Governor Kitzhopper.